good. What's going on, Fred? Not, not I'm good. Uh, you look really excited because you're at the track. I am. With your own car. Yeah. And you're going to race it. Yeah. I was. That, so last year was my first time coming in for first domestic. And it, like, I've been to Texas 2K and like all these other NHRA events. And this just blew my mind how awesome this race is. Like just the variety of cars, just the competitiveness, like just amazing racing. I was like, man, I really want to get a car of mine here someday. And kind of buckled down and got to drag racing some this summer. And it did better than I thought. Um, and it was actually pretty much dead on for the rules for True Street and would have been competitive, so I kind of did everything I could to get it here, and here we are. What is the setup on the S2000 right now? Yeah, so we're still using uh, the factory F22 block and crank. It's actually the original block and crank from this. Uh, we, we changed the sleeve setup to an inline pro sleeve setup. Uh, I had a different block that I broke last or a couple months ago. Um, so it's now on a Zona Rotor 68 millimeter turbo. Uh, the turbo made over a thousand wheel, thus not really leaning on it that hard. Uh, me and my best friend Brandon built a 10 point fort, never built a cage before. That came out really good. Uh, I had to have a cage to be able to race out here. Sure. Um, still using a Motec M130 ECU, Motec C127 Dash, uh, Tony Palo T1's done all the tuning on it. What is the best ET on the car right now? Uh, so right now, uh, it's been 8.7 at 159, I think. Okay. Uh, that was with about 130, 140 less horsepower than we dynoed out last week. Uh, so I think all in, we're going to be up about 200 horsepower. Uh, when it went 8.7, it was literally the first time I've ever drag raced this car on slicks. Okay. Uh, so did that. We didn't even touch tire pressures. So there's a lot of fine tuning that go into it. I think if I get lucky, I'm bad with projecting things. But I think it'll go 8.45 at 164, 65. Something like gotcha. That. Yeah, this no. is yeah first time I think in seven years that I've been not working the cars at a race. But Terrence Knox, Wade, Brandon, Tony, all those guys have it unlocked. We've got five customer cars here. But I couldn't ask for a better crew. They're taking our car, taking care of all the cars this weekend, so I get to enjoy this a little bit. That's awesome. Uh, have you driven? Have you driven on Miller's Prep? No, before? I have not raced on it. Okay. I have literally like seven total quarter mile passes. Oh, this car. geez. Okay. So, so <laughs> we got some, we got some learning to do. We got yeah. some seat time to do. We'll see. All right. Yep. Yep. Stopped working, so. So that's a that's a problem. Yeah. Tony said send it, so I was like, all right. Oh, if Tony said send it, that means you're good, then, right? That's famous last words. Now we'll see. I'm a little scared. What are you hoping for, ET? I'm hoping they tell us that they're not running anymore tonight, so I can diagnose it. <laughs>
issue staging there. Yeah. But it looked like a really clean pass. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we've been having some issues all weekend, getting it to, you know, it's been spinning too much. We had a computer issue earlier today, left with too much power yesterday, but that launch felt fucking flawless. Like, I, I don't know if it could launch better than that. We're going to pull the MoTeC log, and we should be able to get a pretty good idea on how much quicker it went Got than it. it ever has. But Do you have a draggy in this thing or no? Nope, forgot that too. That would be mildly <laughs> convenient right now. But no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. okay. But I'll just go faster tomorrow. How about that? There you go. That, that, there you go. Definitely go faster tomorrow. Yeah. Do like a 8, 843. I'll do that. Yeah? I'll do that. There's okay. a chance that was an 843. So. Good. Good a bit. Yeah. We'll All see. Right. More racing tomorrow. Yep. So. Take your helmet off, Hans device, come on. Have you not seen it? <laughs> okay, when we, when we talked before, that wasn't even in the realm of possibilities that you said. Yeah. 8 2. That's a half second faster than anything you've ever done in this car, is that right? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. I don't know me. <laughs> You're right? It's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm sure, man. I asked Tony what he did. He said, nothing fancy, and just send it. Dude, congrats. That's huge, man. Here you go, dude. Congratulations, man. A little choked up right now. I can tell. It has to feel good, man. Well, that was only, you still got another qualifier after this. I'm f***ed out. I'm waiting, man. <laughs> hey, congrats, man. Go celebrate with your team. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Tony, what kind of magic did you work on this computer to get it to go a half second faster? You didn't do anything special? No. We had, uh, I don't know, we had something weird going on the first pass. The second pass, there was a cam fault, so the, the clutch delay deal didn't work right, so it spun the tire real bad. And then the pass last night, was, the data is identical to this last pass. So if you would have got, got a time, it probably would have been... It would have been a 20. Jesus, okay. So it's at least a consistent. Yeah. There's more, but, um, you know, it's qualified pretty well, so we're probably going to save the rest. Gotcha. Later. Gotcha. So I can tell you, he didn't expect a 20 because he, <laughs> I'm not he cried when he got out of the car. He was so freaking happy that the car worked and it did everything it was supposed to do. Yeah. So, you guys are doing magic on this car, obviously. He literally, for like the past at least two months, has put all of his spare time into, you know, him and the, and the guys at the shop, you know, a couple of our fabricators that, that don't do chassis work were like, we want to do a cage, we want to do this. And so he's rebuilt the motor, did the cage, got all together. And so, I mean, it, it all came together just in time. He took it to the eighth mile track just before coming here, just to, just to get it down the track and make sure everything worked, and it did, and so here we are. So it's it's it makes it extra good. It wasn't just uh, you know a car that's been sitting in the corner for six months and now we bring it out. Right. He's, he put in a lot of work to get here. Two months work, cool. a straight work on this car, and it finally paid off way more than he even thought it would. Yeah, so that's amazing. It's awesome. All right, sir. What's the game plan today? Uh, try and get it started. Cause the starter took a shit on us this morning. Oh, so it's push starting, so that's good. That's but good. That's good. It's sequential. So we can get it. It. You can yeah. still push start it. That's yeah, so good. hopefully we can push start it, and then we'll just you know cut a light and go A to B. There you go. And maybe come talk to me after that. Just just don't just don't kill it during the burnout because that would be that would be super bad. <laughs> super bad. I, I recruited all my pushers, so they're good. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Are you still? Where are you at in the third? You're still fight third in 8:23. Are you hoping to improve that? Well, what did Tony do with the tune? Nothing's changed in the tune. We, okay. we know it's working, so we're gonna wait until I need more. Gotcha. So, so third, you're racing what? 29? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Correct. So you're ready to get six, but then I'm sure he's a good driver, so I yeah, gotta be on it. So. I think in your class, between number one, number three, and two, it's less than a second. Yeah. Oh, it is. Every, it's, yeah, it's eight one to eight eight, I think. So. Uh, if you're all 
burnout box. They have one, one more opportunity to get this thing started. third and the start went out last night they knew they had to push started but they had a lot of trouble getting it started finally got it started the last second he did a burnout rolled to the line and the car died there's nothing you can really do so Stewart's super upset I do not blame him one bit at all I would have been a lot more mad than he is probably that sucks As soon as we got up there, it took four or five tries. Yeah, we got it started in the lane, and they were just pulling from the other two lanes, so it got up to like, I mean, it's fine operating temperature, but I didn't want to sit there and just let it run for 15 minutes before right. it was doing. Right. And uh, so we shut it off, got it, you know, we we're ready to come in the burnout box, and it was just not wanting to start. I just think we couldn't get enough speed to really get it going. Finally, and last try, we fired up. Well, that time, understandably, the track officials were, were trying to hurry to get me up there, which sure. I get, I understand. Uh, did the burnout, half ass burnout, pulled up, and in the rush of trying to get it in there and clean and not red light and do all that shit, I just gave it a little bit too much clutch and killed it coming into the beam. Gotcha. And so I couldn't restart it. So got to, got to lose, and the only way I probably haven't thought about was just the car not starting on the line. Yeah. <laughs> When it started, though, we're not gonna, it's not gonna do it. And then finally, it started, and everybody's like, Yeah, like, like, everybody's it. cheering. And cool. then, yeah. and really, the goal was like, I'd really like to qualify. That'd be right. pretty cool if I could qualify. Right. I didn't ever think it was gonna go third qualifier in 823. So, I mean, I gotta, I gotta take, you know, I gotta take my wins any way I can get it at this point. So, congrats. Yeah, thank you very much. And we're, 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 I'll see you next time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>